Hello, my name is Garrett. Um, I'm here at Food Finders Food Bank in Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to make sweet potato pancakes. So for this uh, recipe, you're going to need some simple ingredients. You're going to need uh, one cup. I'm doubling this recipe today, so if you're going to make one recipe, all you need is one cup of pancake mix, two cups of water, one-fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, and one-half of a baked and mashed sweet potato. So for this, it's really easy. All you got to do is basically just combine all your ingredients together in a bowl. Make sure you have a big enough bowl to hold it all. And then just take a whisk. If you don't have a whisk, you can use a spoon. Um, just mix it all together as best you can. It's going to be pretty thick. Um, if you're used to normal pancakes, it's probably going to be a little bit thicker batter than um, what you're used to. But that's just because of the sweet potatoes. It kind of adds some, uh, some substance to this. So next you're going to go ahead and preheat your, if you have a griddle, use a griddle. Um, we don't have one, so I'm going to be using this kind of large uh, saucepan skillet. It's not exactly ideal, but we're going to use it today to make, make do. So um, go ahead and preheat that to about medium high. Make sure this is all mixed together. So that's preheating. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with some non cooking or non stick cooking spray. Get that going. Okay. So once that's going, that's pretty hot. Go ahead and put about maybe like a quarter of a cup to half a cup of batter. In your skillet, and you may have to kind of like shake it a little bit, because it's gonna be pretty thick. So just kind of get it spread out to about like pancake thickness. And you're gonna let that cook for um, about two minutes or so. Um, and then we're gonna flip it and continue cooking it on the other side. Uh, so while that's going, I'll tell you about a little bit of sweet potatoes and um, some good things about that is they're very high in vitamin C and vitamin A, uh, which is going to keep you healthy. They also have a lot of fiber in them, so they're going to be uh, good for your digestive health and uh, they're also going to keep you full uh, for a longer period of time. Plus they add a little bit of like a unique flavor to pancakes. Okay guys, so um, sorry about that. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about how to bake your sweet potatoes beforehand. Um, because like I said, they have to be baked and mashed in order to go in this recipe. So it's really simple to do. Um, so we're about preheating your oven uh, at about 425 degrees. Uh, once it's preheated, simply take your um, whole potato. You'll stab it a few times before, just to poke some holes in it. Put them on a baking sheet and put them in the oven for about 45 minutes or so. Um, once they're done, take them out, uh, take the skin off of them, just cut them open with a knife, uh, peel, peel that off, and then just mash up the, um, the actual potato part, and then that's all you have to do, and then you just incorporate that into your uh, batter for the pancakes. So this pancake is ready to be flipped. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip this real quick. You'll kind of notice some, um, some bubbles start forming. Uh, the edges will start getting kind of um, a little hard around the edges. So at this point, you go ahead and flip the pancake over um, and cook it together for about two minutes, like I said. And when that's done, you will look like a pancake and you're ready to go. So, um, so anyway, to wrap things up, we'll let this keep going, but to wrap things up, uh, 
All you need for this recipe is uh, one cup of pancake mix, one half a large baked sweet potato, um, some one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and one cup of water. Uh, so it's real simple ingredients and you can incorporate this into making breakfast um, to get some extra vitamins and fiber in your diet. And it's a really tasty recipe guys and I hope you try it. Thank you.